Good morning YouTube. I just thought I'd show you what we've been doing in the garden this weekend. As you can see, um, my husband's chopped down this uh, carpet rose and it looks awful. Um, it always does when he first cuts it down. Um, and we're actually thinking about removing, removing those carpet roses and putting something um, a bit less or maintenance free really in there, some shrubs and stuff. As you can see the wisteria has uh, come up with its second flush this year so that's coming away. It's doing quite well um, but below doesn't look so good at all. Um, and I'll show you we've removed some more um, carpet roses this weekend and I'll show you where that is. My wheelbarrow mulch. And my ever friendly blower love that one one of my favorite tools so you see in here can you see we've created a huge gap um, this here was full of carpet roses um, so we've removed them because we, we had trouble keeping them trimmed and um, yeah they were pretty scruffy we've also um, cut back this Oh, I can't remember. I call it a Sharon rose. It looks awful at the moment and we're hoping it will it'll pick up. But if it doesn't, then it's going to come out. Um, and it's huge. So that'll be a huge gap to fill. Um, so as you can see, I've mulched everywhere. Um, you can see the dahlias there. And somebody suggested I put the... Um, this is the... Oh, what's this again? This is the... Um, for Joa plant. I think it was John O'Brien suggested I put it in the garden so I'm thinking about because I have such a big gap to fill now. I've got my husband to bring it over here to see what it looks like and I think it does look quite nice there. Um, I think I've shown you the flowers before they're quite attractive. Um, you know quite pretty flowers. So yeah I might plant this here. It, you know it fills a gap and um, and we've got some big gaps to fill, so it's not an ugly plant, you know. I have got some other ugly plants, like that's a very similar plant there, but that doesn't have any flowers on it. So, yeah, I should probably plant this in here. So thanks for that suggestion, John. And um, I've moved a few dahlias. I don't know if they'll survive. I'll give them a good watering in, so I've put them in around here. And I've got a lot more plants to buy. To fill the gaps right round so um, that tree's coming out soon so he's got somewhere to drop it here at the moment we won't plant this for Joe until after that's done and I'll probably just get some more dahlias in here and some shrubs and uh, yeah see how it goes so that's what we've been doing the weekend so I'll quickly walk around there's some foxgloves down the woods that have um, self-seeded. So I'm thinking of bringing some of those up and putting them in for now. Just so it doesn't look such a big, big gap. <laughs> From where I stand, it looks like it's going to take a lot of plants to fill. <laughs> and I'm still mulching. Um, I've got this area here, up through here, to finish off. So I'll do that today. Uh, let's have a little look around the back. You can see the pears are coming away there nicely. So hopefully we'll get to them before the birds this year. About four of them there. And we've also got a nice amount of pears on this one, which is the uh, Asian pears. They're really nice, crispy pears. Um, so going down through here, the sun's just coming out. So this is the other side. So this is all excuse me, all nice and full. And I want it to look lovely and colourful like this does down through here. Um, so I'll pick up some plants and put them in at some point. So this is doing really, really well down through here. The big dahlias come in now. Got deadhead that one. And that big dahlia over there is coming away. 
So this is doing really well. I might actually pick up some fuchsias because they do well. Um, get some different fuchsias and put over in that gap. Like these have done a treat here. You can see several of them there. So three the same. <laughs> and a couple of different ones. Got that pale pink one there. I think there's another pale pink one behind it, yeah. There. There's the pale pink. And that's the traditional sort of purple and deep pink. So anyway, we'll get that done. We said we weren't going to start any more pod projects this year, but you look at things and a gardener's garden is never finished. It's always evolving and changing and you know you see things things get too big they need to be trimmed back or removed and um yeah so that's what we've been doing the weekend so pretty busy all in all anyway thanks for watching please like or dislike and subscribe and uh i'll catch you later bye for now